Hello, I'm right here. I got ripped off. Come on, dude. What are you doing? There you go. It's like they didn't even come with instructions or fucking stickers. Man. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting build here. It's finally here. It's a massive box from JD Customs finally showed up. Ordered it on December 13th, and today is the 9th of January, so less than a month. They said expect four weeks, or so a little bit shy of that. Good news. We're gonna unbox this thing, and it's gonna be sweet as hell. But first, this also came in the mail today. This is the headlight setup that I talked about in the previous video. Damn it. Seven inch main with the halo, and then these are the marker lights that are gonna go on the side pods. Normal LED markers, but the halo around them is a turn signal that's built in. So I will have front turn signals integrated into this uh, FXRT fairing. Should be sweet. And the guys at JD said, I may need to make some modifications to the side pods, just like a little bit of Dremel filing to get the LED cooling fins to fit in there. We'll get there when we get there. Shouldn't be that big of a deal. I'm excited, let's open this thing up. I know the lighting's not very good over here, but uh, this is a pretty big box. So I'm just gonna leave it here and uh, move parts as I need them. Windshield. Very cool. Stop, now remove mask and see, check for correct windshield, tint options. Lower number one. And lower number two. Very cool. Uh, I've been really excited to get my hands on this part. This is the uh, triple tree cover. I've been wanting to see how this goes together. So I will need to take the handlebars back off to get this part on. Only the top part actually, because both these parts go together like the nacelle. But this part, I'm gonna need to take the bars off, put it on, and put the bars back on. And then it also has the cover for the little uh, handlebar lock. Headlight cover. There you go. Oh man. Yeah, like I said, this came with the pods installed. Super cool. It also came with this headlight. I'm not gonna use it. I have the other ones. But I mean, this thing is super high quality. You see there's where the vents were, the pods are mounted there now. They came installed from the factory, so I don't have to worry about you know them being off-center or crooked or anything like that. Let's see what else we got. Ugh. This is the part that actually mounts to the uh, neck on the frame. Bearing mouse here. I can't. I don't know which way it goes yet. Real sturdy. It's like quarter-inch steel. I mean, it's pretty hefty. I have no issue holding that thing up. Just a bag of hardware. I guess these are more brackets. Like the lowers to the higher more brackets, everything mounts together. It's all one solid piece. It's like they didn't even come with instructions or fucking stickers. Man, I got ripped off. All right, so that's gonna be the unboxing of this kit. Looks like a real high quality kit. I mean, JD is like the number one brand in the market for this kind of stuff. Super excited to get this thing put together. I'm gonna mock everything up, of course. Get everything wired, get everything, all the switches mounted. I think I need to mount some switches up here, maybe. So yeah, I'm gonna have to get everything Bolted up, mocked up, gonna be some cutting and some soldering of wires probably. And then once everything is ready, I'm gonna start priming and I'm gonna start painting. Nothing crazy. The Road King is just black, but it has a silver pinstripe, like a double silver pinstripe down the tank, down the bags. So I'm probably gonna do something similar to that. Maybe spray some silver to match and just do a couple lines up top and then sort of try to integrate the lowers into that somehow. We'll see when we get there. Yeah, so it's gonna be a lot of mock-up for the next uh, few videos. Priming, painting, and then hopefully final assembly of everything. I'm gonna have to take these pods off. 
to paint them. I'll probably take this thing the whole way apart and paint it. So before anyone asks me, this whole kit to include the uh, fairing, the side pods, the lowers, and the triple tree cover shipped to my house was about $2,100. JD does offer a military discount if you call him and ask him about it. That's what I went with because it ended up saving me about 300 bucks. So just normal pricing is about 2,400 roughly. Um, but they do cut you a deal if you order the side pods and the lowers, they end up sort of combining it all into a combo price. Instead of buying it all separately, it would be a couple hundred dollars more. I think the side pods ended up being like a hundred bucks instead of 200. The lowers were I think 150 instead of 250, something like that. So I definitely cut you a deal if you order everything together. Shipping was pretty quick, like I said, three, three and a half weeks. They, they quoted me four, so they were right on the money there. A little bit sooner than I expected. Really is good quality. Like I said, the headlight comes with it. You still have to get the four and a half inch lights. I'm gonna go ahead and swap everything out for the new lights I got so they all match. And uh, yeah, maybe put this on the Ultra just for the hell of it. Yeah, they definitely do not fuck around with shipping because there was probably 10 pounds of paper packing in this thing. So don't have to worry about getting damaged in shipping. Yeah, this is gonna be an interesting build here. But it's here. Hopefully it'll be ready in the next few weeks. And hopefully be on the road not long after that. We're gonna wire up these lights. This is the right side auxiliary light with the turn signal built in. A few uh, discrepancies with the instructions. I had to look up the old reliable owner's manual or service manual and get this thing figured out. Got it all figured out. It's all basically cut and spliced, soldered, and heat shrunk together. So now I have auxiliary lights with turn signals built in. The left side did a mirror of the exact same thing. I need to get this one soldered and heat shrunk together. So that's all I'm gonna do real quick, and then we'll test everything, make sure everything's good. I already tested it, it's good, but it doesn't hurt to double check. There you go, it's that easy. So I'm gonna plug these things in real quick and uh, you can check out how they're gonna look now. There's the daytime running light and then turn signal. You can kind of see it, kind of washes out in the camera. go. And then off. Um, I haven't noticed any of the like high flash you get sometimes when you install LEDs without any resistors or anything. I don't know if that's gonna be the case when I hook up the headlight too with both turn signals i may get that if that's the case i'll just install an inline resistor won't be an issue but as of now we're good so i'm going to tape all this stuff up and set these aside and go from there now one thing these did come with harnesses these are the harnesses that came with the auxiliary lights didn't want to use them because that would literally be a harness going to a harness going to a harness well to the light now it's just light to harness so this was a lot easier. This thing had like some two like little bunny ear loose wires. I had no idea what they were for. So just cut, solder, do it all straight. Not have to worry about another connector. Not to mention these are like super cheap connectors. Like I took it off and put it off one, took it off and put it back on one time. And this silicone fitting is already mashed. So these are just trash. 